So an example of an amino sugar is in acid too. So would it be a amino glucose acid sugar? Sugar in acetyl glucosamine. Which way you look at? An amino sugar. Yeah, has an amine group on it. In acetyl glucosamine. Yeah. Okay. So now the anomeric carbon is always the carbon with four different functional groups, right? Yeah, and then on a chain, it's the one that has two oxygens bound to it. So, so this carbon right here has two oxygens bound so to it. So on this, which one would be anomeric? It depends on which one. Um, so okay, um, let me draw that out. So I have a CHO, which is really yeah. And then, how many? Wait, how did? But there's only one H and one O. So C H O. Yeah. How many lines across are there? Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then the last part is the C H two. O H. O H. Um, and I don't know if this is right, but. This is your atomic carbon. See, but that's only about to one O. But the thing is, this is in the, when it's in the chain, one of these oxygens here, because, well, maybe if you haven't taken all compute, a carbonyl carbon is a really good electrophile. So one of these oxygens are going to attack. So this oxygen right here mm -hmm. is this guy. Whatever this oxygen is depends on what type of ring you want. So you say, the way you can know which oxygen it's going to be is like, let's say we want a six member ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the, this oxygen is that guy. So it just curls the chain. Yeah, this the chain. will attach right there. If I want a five member ring, one, so I have one, two, three, four, five, it would be this oxygen. So either one, depending on which, how many carbon, how many blah, bonds there are. So the anomeric carbon, then so once they attach, that carbon will have two oxygens attached to it. And so the one in the bond is the anomeric carbon. So that carbonyl yeah. carbon. It's gonna be your so it becomes this guy. Okay, makes sense. So. Oh. When he tested you on this stuff, did he just like basically give you a definition? Like a ligosaccharide, where is it found? That Because um, it's all key terms. Yeah, this is what kind of scares me because I think he's going to do more than just have a blank next to these terms, won't he? Yeah, he won't do that. Mm -hmm. So, he might give you a picture and say like, is this... Pyranose glucose or is this pyranose group glucose? Okay, we just have to memorize that. Mm -hmm. Well, so what is, what's the difference between a pyranose and a pyranose? I don't know, I didn't look at those yet. A pyranose, that's such an ugly. Pyranose is a five memory, pyranose is six. Okay. So if you know so that. It's pyranose. Pyranose. Yeah. And then you have to know the structures of glucose, the structures of fructose, the structures of ribose. But he'll probably just have you draw, like, I think we had to draw fructose out. So he'll probably have you draw one of those three. Okay. He'll ask you what type of bond is this? Is it beta 1, 4, or is it beta alpha? Can we go over that real quick? I know alpha and beta 1, 4. So right there, that's a well, D uh -huh. sugar with a beta yeah. configuration. Yeah, or if I put the hydrogen, then it's alpha. Not very drawn well. Why would it be alpha? I thought OH just needed to be up. If I've had my hydrogen up above it, oh, yeah, alpha's yeah. down. That makes sense. So, and then we always count from the anomeric carbon, right? Uh huh. Or, but if it's fructose, so this is glucose. 
Fructose looks like this. And what do we decide it was up down? Fructose looks like this. This is your anomeric carbon right here. This is still alpha because the hydroxyl groups down. But your carbon number one is there. How would you know which hydroxyl group to go by though? The one that's attached to the carbon. Oh, okay. This is a CH2OH. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry about that. Worry about the hydroxyl. Um, cool. So, I mean, you know, a glycosic bond. Why did you start from the CH2 instead of the anomeric carbon? It's just the way they do it. You just want to put your anomeric carbon at the lowest number of carbon. So, chem stuff. Okay. So. Okay, it could be one. Like in the top one, it's one. Mm -hmm. but one, two, three, four, five. So, I ha I ha so the rule is you start as far to the right as you can. Yeah, if it's drawn conventionally. Just put the anomeric carbon the lowest. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But then one, two, three, four, five, six. Aren't there seven sometimes? That's a furanose on top. Those are furanoses, right? This is a furanose. This is a furanose. This is a five member ring, or six member ring. This is a five member ring. Oh, yeah, two, four, six. And that one's a. The bottom one is a furanose. Mm -hmm.